guys, Ashley here. If you could not tell from the background behind me, I'm going to be doing a bookshelf tour today. Woo! I normally sit in front of my other bookshelf over here, but those books I just like don't like as much. They're a little bit older titles, and these are the ones, these are my real prize beauties behind me. So if you did not know on my channel, I recently hit 1k subscribers. Eee! Thank you guys so much. And I told myself when I first made this channel, you know, if I ever reached 1K, whenever, if I ever did, I would reward myself by doing a bookshelf tour. So this is like a little thank you to myself, to you guys for subscribing to me, because I'm really proud of how this bookshelf looks. I'm happy with how it looks. I'm really excited. I just want to share my excitement with you over my prize beauty books over there. So thank you guys so much for 1K. I believe it's at 1100 now, which is crazy. So crazy. Crazy. But uh, thank you so guys so much. Right, I'm not gonna do what normal booktubers do and like individually go through each book because that will honestly take probably like an hour, 30 minutes. I don't got time for that. So I'm gonna do like a pan through and kind of just talk through my favorite books on the shelf, how it's organized, stuff like that. So let's just get to it. All right, so first here's just like a quick overview of my bookshelves. This is what I see when I wake up in the morning, when I go to bed. All right, so first we have my top shelf. I don't really organize my books. A certain way I kind of just put them together by genre and group them by authors and basically whatever looks more aesthetically pleasing is how I organize them. So this is my contemporary shelf. Some of my favorites on the shelf are Adam Silvera, Jeff Setner, Nicole Yoon, stuff like that. I also have my Fox Eraser over there, Cedric Diggory's up there, my two plants, and of course we have my Honeydew Star from Harry Potter World. I don't even know how old this candy in here is guys, I'm pretty sure it's like two years old, but you know, I'll just leave it up there for that Harry Potter aesthetic. Yeah. So this is my second shelf, my first bookcase. This is where I mainly keep all my historical fiction type books and then some scary ones, more darker toned novels and obviously aesthetic wise they are all darker. So I have Stockton Jack the River, Rudicepides, The Book Thief, some Victoria Straub on the other side, Traitor's Throne, stuff like that. I also keep my pygmy puff up there because why not? He looks really great on top of the daughter burning the city, which is also purple. His name is Meep. Meep Meep. Next we have my manga shelf. So I just have an assortment of all my favorite mangas. Junji Ito on the left, which is like Uzumaki. Orange, Your Line April. I also have a bunch of my Studio Ghibli films. And a little egg Funko Pop, because why not eggs? Yeah. I also have this Howl's Moving Castle figurine. That is one of my favorite Studio Ghibli movies. Oh, look how cute it is. And I just propped that right on top of Your Line April decoration. All right, next we have my graphic novel shelf. So I have a bunch of assorted graphic novels. Some examples of those are Saga, Alex and Ada, Lock and Key. Also have my big graphic novel sculptor it and then some various art books on the right hand side and of course it's Halloween so I'm a black pumpkin because why well, need orange when you can get black like death. I also keep my night bus toy here which I got from Harry Potter World. Whoa and he just goes in front of my graphic novels to guard them because the night bus. Perfect. All right, next up, again, the shelf has no sense of order. Just a bunch of books that the colors look nice together. So on the left side, I have the Fallen Kingdom series. In the middle is a Harry Potter clock, nine and three quarters that my sister gave me for Christmas one year. I have the Shadow and Bone trilogy, a couple of arcs of releases for 2018 that I'm really excited about. And of course, Illumini and Gemina. I also have this painting of Calcifer I did from Howl's Moving Castle. Like I said before, favorite pseudo Ghibli movie, so um, yeah, he just sits there and guards my books with his little fire. Alright, on the bottom here, again, another random display of these, I guess, yellow blue tone books. I have the Lux series by Jennifer L. Armtrout, Amikami Lamar, Dyer, Uprooted, Sabrio, there's a Beauty and the Beast puzzle, and of course my little Hagrid Funko. I also have these really cool pumpkin lights <laughs> that I got from Target for like $3, so those are just going down. And they're really pretty and I like them. Why not? All right, and then this is the very top of my second shelf. I keep my bigger Harry Potter books up here because they're just kind of too big to film my actual self. So of course I have the classics, Page to Scream, Film Wizardry, the two illustrated editions, and of course my yellow snitch that I got in a Barnes and Noble, one of those sticker packets I believe. All right, and then in the first shelf, 
of my second bookcase. I have my adult fantasy, so of course I have Brigitte and Sanderson. I have the Lightbringer series by Brent Weeks, and of course my Victoria Swap, some B.E. Swap. I have my Triwizard Cup, Dobby, and that is my fantasy shelf. All right, right below my fantasy shelf, I don't know what you would call this exactly. For me, it's called all these books are the same size, therefore, they will all go here and look nice together. And they do happen to be all my favorite series in this size of book. So of course I have the Wolf by Wolf series by Ryan Grodin, my Ark of Invictus, the Lunar Chronicles, the Raven Boys, and my Ark of All the Crooked Saints. Ha! All right, people, this is my favorite shelf out of all these two bookshelves. And that is because it is my Lee Bardugo, Jay Kristoff, shrine <laughs> so of course i have all of jay's books all of my various editions of never night Woo! favorites obviously is my rare edition arc look how beautiful it is it's so pretty and then obviously i have god's grave six of crows my six of crow arc various editions of caraval and then of course this is the shelf where i also keep my two custom pop figures i made i have mia from never night and kaz brecker from the six of crows duology i do have a how-to video on how to make him if you're interested but i love them they're my most prized possessions and of course they're gonna go here with their beautiful books. If you did not know me already, obviously I'm obsessed with Harry Potter like any other book nerd. I probably have four or five editions of the complete series set. These are just a few of them because I don't really have a bookshelf designated to display all my nice Harry Potter books. So for now, there's just some assortments of them here. I guess I'll pull out some favorites. I do have my wand here, a Harry figure. Right in the middle there is a love potion from the Weasley shop. And, but let me show you a few of my little favorite editions of Harry Potter I have real quick. So uh, the first one I have is this really beautiful um, alternate art edition of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I got it from Book People in Austin. I'm not sure if it's like something you can still buy. Let me see. And then if you open it up, it's really pretty naked. Like look, that is amazing. So that definitely is one of my favorites. Put that over there. Another one I really like is this version of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. This is a special edition. I bought it at half price, but look, it's just really pretty. The spines are super gorgeous. And this one, oh, yep, gold pages inside, really nice. And then it has a little art right there as well. All right, and the last shelf on my second bookcase, I just have my random pile of arcs that I've collected, some extra editions of Tower of Dawn, Empire of Storms, Akawar that I've annotated. All right, the last shelf I have, which is not attached to my bookshelf, but it is right next to it, of course, is my prized possession in my room, my Sarah J Mass shelf. So of course I have every hardcover edition ever of the US covers, I have the UK covers in the middle, and oh my god, I have ARCs, which are advanced readers' copies before they're published, editions of Throne of Glass, Crowd of Midnight, Air Fire, and A Court of Thorns and Roses. So this is my shelf of, I just had to show that really quickly, and it's guarded by Ghost, the pop figure. All right, guys, that has been my bookshelf tour. I hope you enjoyed looking at my books as much as I do. That's kind of a weird saying. But as always, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like below, comment below. What are some of your favorite books on your bookshelf? How do you arrange your bookshelf? Out of alphabetically, color, genre, who knows? All right, guys, my name is Ashley. Thank you so much again for 1K subscribers. I still cannot believe it. I'm so in shock. All right, guys, um, my name is Ashley. This is Ashley O'Page. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.